Knocking on doors in this shantytown in the heart of Tegucigalpa, Glenda hopes to sell used clothing. She's already made 10 lempiras today, less than one dollar. Look, this is all I could afford. Half a pound of rice and two cubes of chicken stock for our meal today. It's not enough to feed her four children and unemployed husband, so she gets tortillas from this vendor. And the beans, on credit. Glenda cooks on a wood-burning stove. Her electricity bill for one month is 100 times what she made today. And the constant curfews which prevent her from working are making things even more difficult. I've never lived through such a difficult time in my life. It feels like there's no future here. And that's the feeling shared by many of her neighbors, like Francisco, who hasn't opened his welding shop for weeks because of the political crisis. Those two men, Zelaya and Micheletti, have to come to an agreement. But they don't really care. While people are suffering, they are eating well. So what's in it for the poor people? Honduras is one of the poorest countries in Latin America. Nearly 300 people live in this building alone. This is one of the faces of poverty in Honduras, where 60% of the population live hand to mouth on one dollar a day. Community leader Giovanni Lopez says that even during Celaya's government, the economic situation for most Hondurans was bad. So he supported Micheletti ousting Celaya from power. We thought Micheletti would begin solving our problems, but this has reached a breaking point. On Thursday, the curfew was lifted. Shops, businesses, vendors all tried to make up for the time lost. But for poor people like Linda, making less than one dollar a day is not a promising future for her children. She hopes they won't be forced to leave their shoes hanging, like so many others who left them as a sign before heading to the United States to find a better life. While politicians continue to fight, the economy has taken a hit, losing more than $200 million since this political crisis began nearly three months ago. And if it continues, things could get a lot worse for the poor people of Honduras. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Tegucigalpa.